So if you go into the project page by clicking on this yellow icon here, you see that you have a tick mark next to model that means there's an acceptable mesh and next we do the setup step where we set up the physics of the problem. And we do that in mechanical, so go back to Answers Mechanical by clicking on this red icon here. And first highlight geometry in the tree. And under 2D behavior, you should see that the default is plane stress, and so that's what we will use. And if you need to change this to plane strain, um, this is where you would change it. And in the plain stress uh, element formulation, um, you have to give a thickness to the geometry. And here we have only one part that, uh, so by, that you can see by expanding geometry in the tree. And if I highlight surface body, um, I'll see that I need to make sure that the thickness is set to three inches. In fact, the default will be one so make sure you enter three and that three comes if i go back to the problem specification the thickness is b which is three inches okay and um then also here you see that the material assignment is structural steel so um, it'll pull out the Young's modulus and Poisson ratio for structural steel, which is what uh, we need here. So if you want to use a different Young's modulus and Poisson ratio, you will have to create that material um, under engineering data and then assign it here. Okay, and um, then let's set up the boundary conditions. So if I go back to the problem specification, I see that I need to constrain this point in both x and y directions, and I need to constrain that point also in x and y directions. So um, to do that, highlight static structural in the tree, and <clears throat> select supports fix support okay and you might have the face selection filter selected by default and so you'll be able to select only you know areas um, go in here and select the vertex selection filter and that will let you select points in the geometry so I'll select that point and then I want to do multiple selects, so I will hold down the control button and then select that. Okay, so that the control button gives me multiple selects and then I'll click apply and I should see two vertices um, where fix support has been applied, i.e. these two points cannot move in either x and y directions. And we have one more boundary condition to specify, that is this load P, which is 10,000 pounds in the negative y direction, and it's applied at this point. And if you recall, we have already created this point from the geometry step. So let's, so highlight static structural in the tree and go to loads force and hover so make sure vertex selection filter is selected hover near where we created that point it'll it'll highlight that point and click on that and apply um, and for the um, definition of the force uh, vector let's actually do it by components and we have y component is minus 10,000 and the minus sign indicates that it's a negative um, 
y direction and enter. Okay, um, and so for some reason, um, my display is showing zero pounds, and I think there's something, there's some problem with my display. Let's see, this, okay. Um, under graph, if I clicked on graph, it's showing me, you know, kind of, um, it's, it's thinking it's a ramped load going from zero to one. You don't have to worry about that. So it was showing me zero because it was showing me this initial time. So if you have that problem, go to the graph tab and just click on that. And so I see the right uh, force. And <clears throat> so I have my boundary conditions, um, which I can review by highlighting static structure on the tree. So I have my displacement constraints and I have my loads. And by the way, if you have trouble um, with the unit for the loads, you, you need to go here and make sure you're working in the US customary units. And save project. <clears throat> 